Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? So it's my birthday today. I thought I would jump on here and show you some of the goodies that have come in. And to celebrate my birthday, I actually went all out and between gifts that people sent me or my mom bought me or my dad bought me, I uh, managed to get this beautiful, as you know, if you watch the channel, schminky wood box set. This is the 48 wood box set. So I've been really enjoying this so much. And then um, these ones came in, which are the Schminky Special Edition Botanical Set, which I'm starting to add some of my own colors to. You've seen me paint with this. And the Seascape Set, which I absolutely love. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I started to add uh, pretty much, I think this is what I'm going to stick with. I love these additions to this set. And really, like, somebody asked me on my group page if this was really a great set to start. And yes, it is such a great set. Either the botanical or the ski seascape set. I really like them because they're square boxes rather than the traditional long boxes. And they're beautiful. This is the first time I've ever seen them make this silver. And... Um, I just couldn't be happier with the way this set is. I actually put magnets on my samples. It comes with these paints and then I put these on as well. So it's been really, really amazing and I love this set. Some of the other things that came in are right here. We're going to go through those in just a second. So we already unwrapped these on a video and these are the Escoda Black uh, Travel Brushes. I have used these already and I love them so much. I could only imagine what I can paint with these. I mean, like this will do everything for you, literally. So it's a great set to have. But as I was speaking with someone on a group page just today and the group page that I, I uh, am the admin for is watercolor <clears throat> painting for beginners. So go find it on Facebook or it's linked below on the video. Uh, these brushes, any one of these sets really will do the job for everything from your um, sketchbook to an actual, you know, painting. You really don't need much else. They're very good curated sets. But if you don't want to pay for, you know, the extra for the case and, you know, the fact that these are kind of special edition sets, then you could just order literally... Um, a big Ultima wash brush, maybe like a 16 or, you know, a 13 and um, a round brush, an Ultima 6 or an 8. And then, you know, if there's a special detail brush, like I see one in here and this set is a 10 Perla. That's a really nice detail brush if you do a lot of like negative painting or you use gouache. These are good for that too. So I'm going to go through these in just a second. I also got these two brushes which are squirrel brushes by da vinci size 8 and 12 they are a mix of different squirrel and different natural hair and they came in this set by schminky 48 wood box set really as far as wash brushes it's hard to beat these right because they retain so much water and they're so nice in the delivery but there are a lot of synthetic brushes like the ultimo by escoda that replicate that, you know, and I have really loved my Escoda Ultimos. Those have been amazing. If you want something this middle of the road, I like the Versatile line. I think this is great. This brush really does everything from tree trunks to petals to washes. It's a great brush. Versatile Escoda size 10. So there's so many, many options out there, you know, and when you catch a sale like on Jackson's or something, you can get such a great deal. I also picked up one of these because I had not used one. I haven't been a big fan of the silver brushes because I feel like they're very overpriced, but this one was really well priced. It's the silver silk and I did get it at Jackson's for um, on the sale. It's a half inch. So we're going to test this one out and see how it is. And then I have these ones which are limited edition sets. This is Alvaro Casnet. He's a really famous watercolor artist. Look him up if you like urban painting. He's amazing. So he designed a set with um, Escoda, the Prado Barcelona set. And then Joseph Zbuvik, he is also a really amazing watercolor master painter. And he has two sets, 
with Escoda. So we're going to test these out very, very soon too. And there's more. Hang on. And last but not least, and I do have more things coming, believe it or not. <laughs> there, are, there are some more watercolor paints coming, and uh, I'm really excited just to get everything. This is from Jackson's. It just arrived today, and um, something I've been really wanting to try are these travel brushes from this Italian company. So I'm really excited to give these a try. My huskies are running around like crazy because I have... Whenever they hear this crinkly paper, then huskies appear. I literally have two like right underneath me and they're so excited. They want, they want whatever, there's one. <laughs> She's like, what do you got? <laughs> it's the paper, they, <laughs> they go nuts over the paper. Okay, so um, I like these little wrappers. These are from Italy and Tintorito. This is the 1337 Sintetico. Uh, it says Vaja Italy, size 8. And the Tintoretto 1330 Vajo Kazan, size 6, I'm assuming. And I just thought they were so beautiful. I really, really wanted to... Um, take a look at these up close and while well, they had their amazing Salem which I think they're going to have another sale Black Friday I picked these up because they just look lovely now I actually picked up an extra set of these for one of my um, one of my patrons on my website JacquelineJacks.com at Christmas time I'm going to put together a couple of limited edition sets from these schminky ones and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the last row with paint add a really amazing travel brush and a sample kit of paper as well as various dot cards of paint and other surprises in there and I'm going to sell two sets and completely like that to my students so that uh, two people can get the opportunity to experience professional paint and get like an amazing brush this is the versatile size 12 this one would do washes details it would be great for everyone from an urban painter to botanicals really nice and you will see all of these on future videos on this channel for sure as well as all the paint i've already been digging into this one and i have a course that comes out uh september i have recorded half of it there are literally, I mean, like 14, 15 videos, and it's a starter course for beginners who want to learn illustrative journaling. So if you want to keep a beautiful illustrative journal, um, like the one that I made here on the channel, I'm actually filming painting in this journal for a class. So all of these beautiful paintings in this journal are going to be included in the class yeah and there's like just so many pages it, it addresses everything from granulation to painting with gold gouache watercolor um water soluble pastels markers just multimedia it talks about brushes and paper and you know just lots of things that beginners i feel really need to um learn and it's going to be so inexpensive to get into the course, especially if you sign up early. So keep an eye open for that. If you're part of my group page, you will find out first before anyone, that's for sure. So this is something that I have been looking to get, and I just never really ordered one, and I don't know why. <laughs> I just never do. I always end up ordering so much else, but I figured in celebration of my birthday, because it's a very special birthday for me, and I'm celebrating the life and longevity of my mom, who is a survivor of a stroke, and my father, who is in remission from cancer. So this is a big celebration for me to make this birthday and still have both of them with me. So I bought a Fraser Price palette box, and I actually bought one for my mom as well, because she is an artist. And I will always have this, knowing that we made it to this birthday with my dad in remission from cancer. And you know, and my mom 
being here with me surviving and just thriving and doing so well. So I have lots to celebrate this birthday and I thought I would just celebrate with you guys too in just souping up this YouTube channel, getting a new course out and trying out a lot of these beautiful products that I picked up at Jackson's. <laughs> Things that were on my wish list and literally I don't typically clear out my wish list all in one uh, one spot, but I decided to do it. And now I don't know. I have I have more to wish for. Believe me, there will be more. There is always more. Um, so this palette box is amazing. It is really well weighted. It's not too heavy. It's something I could completely paint with. You have to put your own paint in there, but very easily done for sure. I mean, it looks like, yep, I can slide in. I like the fact that you slide them in and they won't fall out. So I could slide in full pans. And do I have any half pans around here? I don't know. I probably don't have any. Oh, maybe I do. Let's see how the half pans fit in. So, hopefully these aren't wet. Oh yeah, so you could put a lot in here. Um, I'm also seeing, so there's a water, little water container. It's pretty neat. And a little water flask. Now, I typically don't use these water flasks. I usually just have water with me. So what I probably will do, and I don't know that I would use this either. Um, I probably would just keep a, a water like a, I have these little pop-up cups that are really good that I would use on the side. And I will probably put more paint in here. You know, really easily, all I have to do is just put magnets on the bottom and I can just fit in a lot more paint. So I probably will do something like that and I might add a deeper mixing area or I'm wondering if, yeah, so this is going to be a mixing area for myself. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'll keep this in here and I can use this as a little extra mixing area for a wash. Um, that's perfect and then I'll find a way well, all I have to just do is put magnets on and then I can put some more of my favorite paints in there. Another option too, if you don't need that much paint, is, I think, I hope I didn't get those mixed up. I probably did. Is you could probably, yep, you can. So you could just put like half pans or full pans because you don't really need a lot of paint when you're going out and about. And you could put your travel brush in there maybe even two yes look at that perfect love it that's great so that definitely works that's that's another good option yeah i love that these travel brushes fit do the other ones fit are you asking i don't know let's see here's no nope, not the big versatile uh so these are perfect for this and actually they look really nice in it because there's a gold and there's a black with gold so these ones are by the tintoretto those are perfect for this fraser palette and you've got little mixing areas here they're slightly recessed so that it's not for washes but for washes i oh look at that you could put a little bit more of a wash here or you can just get extra full pans or like um a little square dish you know and put it in there like a little square they have like they you see them like on amazon they're like little square boxes and you can insert there because it's pretty it's pretty deep there's like there's a lot of room <laughs> you know what i mean uh yeah so i can think of a, a lot of different ways to customize this with like little wash areas you know I'm going to have to look around for different things I can use to put in here. I mean, I did just receive a, um, a custom little palette that was made by a girl that I wanted to support. Oh, I don't have it here. Let me see if I can find it. So this was made by a craftsman and she, she gets these tins and she actually has a printer and she makes these. I love her to death. I think this is amazing. It takes hours and hours. So what I'm thinking is if you have a tin like this, probably you could go to this, this, uh, this girl that prints them out. Yes. And you could like get her to print out something with maybe like a mixing well, you know what I mean? That would be really cool, but I could actually just put this in there and that would be fine. You know, if I put 
if I put the uh, the the magnets on the bottom, then this would easily, easily work. And you don't really need any more than this. This is probably just complete overkill of adding too many paints to this because sometimes when you have too many choices, again, you just confuse yourself. But in any case, there's lots of ways to customize something like this. And that's what I'm most excited about. Not only is it a very, very special palette for me at a special time in my life, but it's something that um, if you did want to customize it in different ways, there you go. I just gave you tons and tons of ideas to make it your own, depending on how long you're going to travel, where you're going to be away. But how cool is this? Now, I do know that they are sold out right now, but they will get more in stock. They always do. And I would definitely invest in this palette. Um, I think this travel box is amazing. And it's just so, so pretty. I'm getting my fingerprints all over it already. But wow, look at that. Yeah, it's beautiful. I'm so glad I got it. And I'm going to have a, a really good time um, painting with it and getting it all dirty and messed up. Because <laughs> that's what it's meant to do. So comes in this beautiful box. Um, more on that coming up very, very soon. I hope you guys are enjoying following this channel as I'm just bringing in so many really fun and interesting things for you to look at and consider on your watercolor journey. Watercolor is such an amazing thing to get involved with and it has just saved my life and gotten me through so much hardship over these past, I would say 10 years. And, um, now that I do it full time as well, uh, you know, as a full time artist and also a creator as well as other things, I um, I'm so glad and so lucky for it. And I've met so many amazing people and good friends from it, especially in my student pool, people who are taking my classes over there on Skillshare. Hi, guys, and over on my website at JacquelineJacks.com. So guys, uh, let me know if you like any of these things and what's interesting to you, what you'd like to see moving forward on the channel. I'm going to add this to our lineup here of things that we have to review and paint with. And literally, we are going to in-depth paint with every single thing you see here in the next couple of months and moving forward. I mean, literally I have so much. I've also got some uh, paint from Poland coming in small and can't wait to review that set. It's a big wood box set. There's a wood box set also coming in from Schminky and a special limited edition palette that is coming in that is lined with a ceramic. So it's kind of similar to this, but it's lined with a ceramic palette inside. So if you've ever seen me use this ceramic palette from Schminka, there's actually a custom fitted palette inside the box. And those are going to go up for sale on my website. Um, I think they were part of their like 100th or 120th anniversary edition. But I found a couple from uh, a supplier in Germany. And so I'm importing them. And that's going to be exciting to open those and see what they're all about. All right, guys, have a great day and happy painting. Show me what you painted. Go join my Facebook group so I can see everything that you're painting out there and come take the challenges because we're giving away paint and you, you need to be inspired every single day. So come on over. Talk to you soon.